Vunair Airlines is a large airline company that operates flights to all major tourist destinations. They have a large IT environment to support their business. Monitoring this huge network is often a challenging task for their IT team. Their IT team requires end-to-end -end visibility of the network health to perform root cause analysis rapidly. They need to discover services and mappings automatically while correlating them with IT assets that support them. Also, they must analyze a diverse data set, including metric, topology, text, and log data with the impact that each component has on the topology. Obtaining the right, timely insights is challenging due to the presence of siloed views across performance, event, and business tools. This typically results in manual cross-tier analysis that significantly wastes time and effort in resolving issues and anticipating future performance or capacity needs. To resolve these challenges, Vunair Airlines has opted CA Digital Operational Intelligence that enables their IT operations teams to deliver a phenomenal user experience, improve service quality, and drive operational efficiencies. Now the IT teams can leverage service analytics feature of CA Digital Operational Intelligence to provide experts and specialists with quicker access to the data through overview and summary of a service performance. They can embed a service in service analytics and allow users to manage health of the services. In addition, the IT operations team can now explore historical data, availability and risk of a service, impacted service, alerts mapped to a service, and many more. Let's see how to use service analytics further in this video. The CA Digital Operational Intelligence Service Analytics lets you visualize and explore historical data of a service that has been analyzed to determine what is expected. Service Analytics models the service and provides multiple ways of viewing it in a web browser. It enables you to easily access many months of historical data from the system. The top panel of the Alarm Analytics page has filters. These filters enable you to filter services by required time. To select the period for which you want to investigate, click the calendar icon in the top pane of the page. You can use the data filter to access many months of historical data from the system. Select the time series for which you want to see the availability for various business service KPIs. You have some quick view options that you can select directly, or you can make custom selections from the calendar dropdown. Note that the default period is one week. Select a period and click OK. The overview section gives you the insights of all the services on the overview page. The risk pie chart provides the risk of the service but not available. The risk severity is measured on a five point scale of zero to four. For example, if the messaging service has a risk severity 4, then the probability of service not been available is high. Availability displays the percentage availability of all the services. Five worst business services represents bottom five services. You can also filter a service based on the available KPIs. You can see the selected business KPIs for a service here. By default, you can only select five business KPIs. Click the Options button to see various options that Service Analytics offers. The Add Service lets you add a service. When you click Add Service, list of available services is displayed from which you can select the service name, example messaging, or you can also browse for the YML file and get the service populated, and click Submit. The Metrics column drop-down list allows you to limit the number of KPIs to be displayed by selecting Required KPIs. The Impact Analysis allows you to view the impacted services by providing Configurable Inventory, or CI name, in the Impact Analysis text box. The Impact is calculated for the CI, and the Impacted Services with the Impact Severity are displayed. The Impact Severity is calculated based on the CI significance and Risk Severity. Now let's see how you can limit the number of KPIs to be displayed. Click Metrics column. From the list of KPIs, remove Alarm Volume and then add business KPI. You can now see that the KPIs have been updated. You can also select the services that are at risk by clicking on that partition of the pie chart. Observe that only the services that are in critical state are listed here. You can go back to previous view by clicking on the same partition. Likewise, you can also select the services based on availability. Let's select the services that are available more than 96%. Observe that only the services that are available more than 96% are listed. You can go back to previous view by clicking on the same partition. Also, Service Analytics allows you to filter five worst business services using the worst five by dropdown. Click to see the worst five by dropdown. 
You can choose any of these KPIs to filter the business services. Now let's see the details about messaging service. Scroll down and click messaging to view each detail in a graphical representation. You will be redirected to the messaging service summary page. You can add a KPI by clicking add widget and selecting the required KPIs. Click add widget. Click the select KPI drop down list. From the list of KPIs, select user. Once the required KPIs are set, you can verify each KPI graph to know about the service. The user graph displays the number of users using the messaging service in the selected time frame. The location overview KPIs displays the distribution of the users according to their geographical locations and or countries. The darker the blue, the more users are from the country. The red dots represent the location of the data centers. The availability graph displays the percentage of time the back-end service of the messaging was available, up and running, during the selected period. Risk displays the service not been available. You can calculate risk based on the utilization and health of the components of a service. Risk can be measured based on the risk severity ranging from 0 to 4. The risk is directly proportional to the capacity utilization and inversely proportional to the health. High risk limits the number of users the service can cater to. For example, if a component has high utilization or low health, the probability of that component affecting the health or availability of the service can be defined by the risk severity. Alarms overview represent an issue that is affecting the service. The bar graph provides a high-level overview of the issues that are present. It displays most of the issues from the application layer, but the most severe ones are from the end users. You can view the details of alarms by clicking the alarms bar graph, which navigates to alarm analytics page. Five best business services represents top five services. You can also filter a service based on the available KPIs. Five worst business services represents bottom five services. You can also filter a service based on the available KPIs. Now, let's view the details of alarms by clicking the alarms bar graph, which navigates to alarms analytics page. In the alarm analytics page, the most critical component in this screen is noise reduction. Leveraging the noise reduction algorithm, you can see only the root cause of the alerts. Expand the service alarm. Observe the root cause icon beside the alarms. This indicates the root cause of the alarm. Click the root cause icon to expand. Once this root cause is resolved, all the grouped alarms will be resolved. I am sure you now understand how IT teams of Vunair Airlines can leverage service analytics feature of CA Digital Operational Intelligence, which gives quicker access to the data through overview and summary of a service performance. Thank you for watching this video. For more detailed information about CA Digital Operational Intelligence, Click the information bubble at the top right corner to load the product page. From there, you can go to product documentation, visit the CA communities, or see the learning path.